So we're back. Do you remember Bone Things in Harmony? I mean, maybe I forgot, but maybe you remembered, but maybe you remembered, maybe I forgot. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I was excited when I saw this and I took a clip. We're gonna react, we're gonna watch it together. Bone Thugs in Harmony, specifically crazy. When judgment comes, people, they ain't nowhere to hide. When judgment comes, <laughs> but smoke is on lay, but smoke is on lay, on lay. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. I was a Bone Thugs and Harmony fan. I'm just letting you know. And then I fell off. Like, you know what I mean? The, the 90s stopped. Was it 2000s? Whew, age. Um, so, we're gonna react. Crazy Bone, I'll just give you a little briefing. Crazy Bone is Christian? I mean, it's not like he said he was Christian, but like he's in the Bible knee deep. And I, I found it so fascinating. Again, I will I will tell you this. We listen to music so much. Music is so impactful in who we are. We reference times in our lives via music. Music plays a role and it affects us. It is an energy, if you want to call it. I mean, whatever. You know, you know, music is such a big thing in all of our lives. And just to know that Kanye was probably right, the pastors have now become, I wouldn't say hip hop like Karis one. I mean, maybe he wouldn't even say that either, but the preachers are the ones who were singing to the youth, to us, and the scriptures are their words. But what happens when the artist becomes pastor i'm not saying crazy bone is a pastor but the way he's talking he's teaching teacher crazy bone bo, 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 bo. <laughs> this is so cool to me it's so cool when i found this i was like ain't no way to have a judge <laughs> okay i'm so i'm done playing around stop he who has an ear let him hear okay we're gonna watch the video together and we're gonna start right. Indeed. So we go moving on further in the paragraph. It says another subhead, and it says the Bible is hated and loved. Hmm. It says at the same time, we have to note that no other book has been the target of so much vicious opposition and even hatred throughout history. Hmm. Bibles have been burned on public bonfires from the Middle Ages down to our 20th century. And reading or distributing the Bible has been punished with fines of imprisonment, of imprisonment, even in modern times. Yeah. In past centuries, crimes often led to torture and death. So I want to stop there before I keep reading. Right. Stop here for a second. I want us all to stop here for a second. I want y'all to ask yourself, why would they find the people, put them in prison and even murder them? just for reading and translating the Bible. Yeah. And we also have to think about this. Let's be logical. If man or the powers that be wrote this book to Bible to control the people or to keep us oppressed or to keep us in the darkness, why would they punish them for reading it? That doesn't make sense. You would think they would want everybody to read this so you can be brainwashed. Everybody, come on, read this book so you can be brainwashed. They tried to stop people from reading mm -hmm. it at first. Mm -hmm. They didn't want people to read that book. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They 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 tried to stop people. It was a law against reading and for there, that reason. And there, there there are countries, there are even countries today, bro, still today that have banned the Bible and certain religions. Russia is one of them. They've never been friendly to God's message, hmm. ever. Their thing is absolute power that's what they think is but what stands out to me in all of this is how how these people knew the consequences of getting caught for trying to translate or read the bible and they still risked their lives oh yeah to learn what was inside this book yep we talk about all the time people that people are not going to risk their lives 
their entire life for something they don't believe, sure, something man. they're not convicted of. Yep. You're not going to get everybody to go along with, a, with the scam. The scam would have been broken up. Mm -hmm. Everything else is. Every other scam, they, 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 they cracked up. You can't tell me these men is putting on this act for this long when they can't even, they, they can't even distribute a vaccination right. Right. You trying to tell me they got this kind of sense and they can't even get the little things right? They man. can't even figure out the homeless population. But they wrote the Bible. Yeah. Cut the games, man. Cut it. Cut the games. I'm not buying you. Are you atheists? We ain't buying it. Nah. Go on down the street with that. Yeah. We ain't buying that. And see, like what you're saying. you have no proof. Yeah. You have no further proof. Look, look, look at what you say even, too. The laws of even um, uh, can't read. That ain't just to keep people from uh, coming up in the world. Exactly. Because the word of the Lord, they knew the slaves. That's why with slaves, if you even find you with a book, it was it was like you got found with a with a with a, uh, a kilo. But not to cut you off right there, black people wasn't the only ones that they didn't want to, want to read. It was other yeah. races they didn't want to oh, read de either. Oh, definitely, definitely. They didn't want them touching that book because once you can take this. Reread it, and they like if they read it. Somebody read it to them, and they like, oh, this is power in it. Kind of like is, that movie Book of Eli. This is a danger to us. And they yeah, they said we can't let nobody read this, and we gonna we gonna take the love, for, we gonna take this book, but we gonna flip what it means. See, Satan know the word of the Lord too. You know what I'm saying? So he knows how to influence human <coughs> beings also too, and do the things he wants them to do. They're susceptible to him. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is they teaching the word of the Lord backwards. They teaching and using it as a tool to keep people down or press people, no matter what country. Tell me that wasn't cool. Tell me what. So what I will say is, uh, <clears throat> and you please leave a comment in the comment section. But what I will say as for me and my house, this is a very classic like, how do I say this? In my journey when I was, you know, Christian and all that, you know, I was going to the church. I was very involved in the church. It was, when I look back at that time, it and listening to this right now with Crazy Bone, it feels like a very classic way of Christian. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, he believes or they believe you know, the rapture or they use those terms. How about that? They not not what they believe, but they use the terms of like the rapture and um I don't remember the last time I heard about the fact that Christians, you know, cannot read the Bible in certain uh countries and whatever. So I find super interesting. It's been so long because what happened was in my journey from the classic going to church and being involved and listening to that way of talking, I started to start to listen to the Hebrew Israelites. And that is a very different way of even teaching and preaching the word. So the Hebrew Israelites are a little bit more aggressive and they go precept upon precept, you know? So I don't know. I, I liked it. I, I've watched quite a few clips of Crazy Bone and his delivery is exactly how it, it he it's very calm it's a little aggressive but you know it's confident in the word but bonus clip so what i will say is it's a dark it's a damn shame that in 2022 if it's true i did not look it up that people People are fighting for freedom of speech, but people can't even read what they want to read. <sighs> How many times are we going to repeat history? It's very clear what you decided way back when, when you were a kid. Not everybody has a straight path of their spiritual journey. So who are you to start ridiculing anybody knowing that by next week, next month, next year, couple years, they might change their mind. They might circle back, come back out, circle back in. Like, it's just weird that 
and I, it's clear it's not kids it's adults adults policing each other policing our religious beliefs policing how did you get to the truth if you don't get it get to it my way or if you get aggressive with me well i'm gonna get aggressive with you you know that whole classic way of thinking of turn the other cheek that doesn't exist anymore so i think it sucks that you know um him saying you know it's banned you know and if if it wasn't true then why would they ban it or stop well but it could be the opposite it could be that they tell you you know it's like telling a child oh don't touch that cookie because if you do such and such and such you leave the room then the child touches the cookie it's almost like you what like well that's not a good example but you get what i mean it's almost just like if you tell somebody you're like if you tempt Sometimes people might just crack open the book and start reading it and then you fell into the trap that they wanted. They tell you it don't use it, then you want to read what's in there because you think, you know what I mean? They could be playing, you get what I mean, right? You're not stupid. Then they could be playing with you. So it goes both ways, but I, I'm very strong, very confident in leave people alone in their spiritual journey. And you know what's so funny? I'm just gonna end off with this. And I'm going to actually say that in the in, say this in the next several videos. Why is it? Who is the happy? You answer me. Who is the happiest people on earth? Not race, group of people, maybe culture. Okay, fine. Maybe race, maybe culture, whatever. How come the religious people of the earth are not the happiest? When I look around at every religion, I can't say that there's one more happier than the other. And if that, I feel like all religions should be the happiest because they believe the truth. They don't feel like they've been say, oh my God, there's so much to say now. And now I have no lighting. The name of God changes in every religion. But Satan remains the same in every religion. There's evil in every religion. Why is it, he who has an ear, let him hear. Why is it we are not more happier as people who are on the spiritual path, spiritual journey? It is rare to find, I'm kind of stepping away from the whole crazy bone thing because that is the coolest thing ever. However, why is it that the most religious people, the people who are on a spiritual journey are not the most happiest people, the most smiling, smiling, jolly people, the most loving people? It's, it, it's almost like, like I said, and I've said this in another video, I feel like we've become professors of the devil we know when evil is around we know when a demon is in front of us but we can't determine when somebody actually loves love loves us we can't determine when somebody's actually happy in fact we question our own happiness sometimes isn't that effed up but you're on the spiritual journey but yet you have done the research you've done your due diligence but yet you're the most miserable you're the one that's upset with somebody else who believes something that you don't because they came at you and you're debating them and they started it and i'm gonna finish it because i know the truth and you're not gonna tell what the hell you know it was it took me a long time to really understand when you know kanye was on his thing about you know all we need is love or he pushes the I wouldn't say the religion of love, but he pushes love. And I'm just like, it's kind of true. In every religion, love should supersede all evil. But yet, people can't even read a book in another land. And they might... So now you got to hide. Crazy. Crazy. Anyways, I just, how is this a, a blooper? Like, a extra added? Whatever. Anyways, okay. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Look, my lighting's terrible. Do you see this? This is crazy. Unprofessional, okay? Subscribe. <laughs> okay, bye. See you.